afternoon. Here is the news at four. First, the highlights. <music> Governor Sanwalu inaugurates Ikeja Overpass Bridge. House of Representatives assures Nigerians have a passing 2024 appropriation bill on December 30. On the foreign scene, Google to pay $700 million to the United States of America in antitrust settlement. In sports, Cycling Association urges corporate bodies to support the sports to boost international recognition. Now the details. I am Taiwo Barua. State Governor Babajide Sonu has inaugurated the 620 meters Ikeja overpass bridge along the Red Line corridor, the fourth and the first phase by the state government. Governor Sonwulu unveiled the T bridge alongside the Governor of Kwara State and Chairman Nigeria Governors Forum Abdurrahman Abdul Razak with a charge on residents to take ownership of the project as government. We will continue to deliver infrastructure that will ensure the safety of residents and boost their economic activities. <music> Speaker of the State House of Assembly, Modashi Robasa, commended Governor Songulu for not abandoning the project, which will impact positively on the lives of residents and reduce travel time around the access. Commissioner for Transportation, Olua Shenwa Shiemi, noted that the Sanwulu administration is committed to info transformative vision to create seamless, efficient transport policies in line with the master plan to ensure Lagosians experience a sustainable system that enhances connectivity in a serene environment. <laughs> Managing Director, Lagos Metropolitan Area Transport Authority, Lamata Abimola Akiajo, stated that the bridge is the fourth in the first phase to be built across the red line remaining Moshi Overpass Bridge, which is near completion, while the Pen Cinema Yaba and Uyimbu have been completed and open to motorists. Our correspondent Adiola Kindele reports that the other rail level crossings over which bridges must be built in the second phase with the support of the federal government, including Jonathan Koka, Fagba, PWD, Ikeja GRA, Ilukweju Bypass, and Fadi. State's government has officially pulled out former head of service, Hakim Murio Kwala, from the state civil service. Mr. Murio Kwala, who was the 21st head of service in the state, was recently appointed as the principal private secretary to President Bola Tinubu. Speaking at the event held at Adiyemi Bureau Auditorium, Alausa Ikeja, Governor Babaji Desongulu commended the selfless service of the celebrant. His level of loyalty, sincerity, uniqueness, and dedication to the state civil service, which is ranked the best in the country. Lagos State Head of Service Bodiaguro thanked God and expressed sincere appreciation and joy for Mario Kuala's various supportive role in delivering efficient public service through commitment, diligence, and exceptional leadership. Governor Songulu, the celebrant, and the new HOS Bodiaguro inspected a parade of honor conducted by officers of the Lagos Fire and Rescue Service. Lagos State Traffic Management Authority, Neighborhood Safety Corps, Vehicle Inspection Service, and the Nigerian Police. The event was attended by Governor of Kwara State, Abdurrahman Abdurazak, wife of the celebrant, Mrs. Abisola Muriokwala, his mother, Madam Feintola Muriokwala, top government functionaries, civil servant representatives of various trade unions, among others. <laughs> In 
response, the immediate past head of service, Hakim Kwala, appreciated God for giving him the opportunity to serve. He also thanks Governor Babajide Songoli for his support throughout his years of service in Lagos and expressed appreciation to the entire civil service for their loyalty and dedication. Mario Kwala commended the state government and other government functionaries for providing a conducive atmosphere for him to thrive, pledging his constant support to the government and the people of Lagos State. Scores of well wishes, including seven retired permanent secretaries and family members, gave glowing tributes to the former Lagos head of service. Mario Kwala was thereafter inducted into the Association of Lagos State Retired Heads of Service and Permanent Secretaries, Allah Hops. Speaking at the event, Permanent Secretary, Public Service Office, Sukomi Wigbala said, Mario Kwala has laid a solid foundation for his successors to build on, carved a niche for himself, and also placed his name in gold. <laughs> Now to the rest of the stories, the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Tajuddin Abbas, says the 2024 budget proposal would be passed on December 30, 2023. The lawmaker representing Zari, a federal constituency, stated this on the floor of the Green Chamber at the resumption of plenary. And this is just as he notified committee chairman that the Appropriation Committee has directed them to prepare report of the budget defense by the various ministries, departments and agencies for submission latest this evening. The Industrial Training Fund, ITF, it is poised towards promoting and encouraging skills development in Nigeria in line with its mandate. ITF Director General Afiz Ogun said this at the 2023 graduation of ITF NECA Technical Skills Development Project, TSDP, and the Agripreneurial Skills Empowerment Program, INJAS. Ogo said no nation can progress in current times with a workforce without relevant skills, adding that technical and vocational skills training constitute the platform that could drive adequate socioeconomic development. In foreign news, Google Parents Alphabet has agreed to pay $700 million as part of an antitrust settlement with the funds going to U.S. customers of its Android app store and state government. Google will pay $630 million into a settlement fund to be distributed for the benefit of customers according to a cut-approved plan and $70 million into a fund that will be used by the state. Dozens of states in the United States of America, USA, joined forces in a lawsuit filed that accused Google in July 2021, accusing the company of abuse of power regarding consumer access to apps on mobile devices running into Android operating system. In sport now, corporate bodies have been urged to support cycling in the country as a way of boosting the sport, particularly because of its health benefits and international recognition. Chairman of the Ogun State Cycling Association, Femi Thomas, lamented the neglect of the sport by corporate organizations and government and called for more sponsorship in order to grow the sport. Thomas, who is also a board member of the Cycling Federation of Nigeria, said the scarcity of funds from the government and sponsorship from corporate organizations have deprived cycling a pride of a place in the country's sports calendar. He said a lot of programs have been lined up for next year, including the Tur, including Tur the Afrique, which is the Lagos to Ghana, the World Bicycle Day, and the usually monthly activities. According to him, there are also international tournaments, which include Tur the Bene, Congo Tur, Tur of Burkina Faso, the African Championship, and the All African Games in Ghana. And that's it on the news at four. But just before we go, stay alive. Make use of pedestrian bridges where available. You can follow us and like all our various social media platforms. X, formerly Twitter, Lagos Traffic 961. Instagram, Lagos Traffic Radio 961. Watch us live on Facebook, Lagos Traffic Radio 96.1 FM. On YouTube, subscribe and watch all our programs and news on our channel. 
Traffic Radio 961. Did you know that's the Songwulu administration trained 500 unemployed youth in soft skills and job interview program? You can get more details on the Lagos State Government website to end the news. Here are the highlights of the major stories. Lagos State Governor Babajide Songulu has inaugurated 620 meters in Keja overpass bridge along the Red Line Corridor, the fourth in the first phase of the state by the state government. And the Speaker, House of Representatives, Tajuddin Abbas, said the 2024 budget proposal would be passed on December 30, 2023. We also told you that Google parent Alphabet has agreed to pay $700 million as part of an antitrust settlement with the funds going to U.S. customers of its Android app store and state government. And finally, sport corporate bodies have been urged to support cycling in the country as a way of boosting the sport, particularly because of its health benefits and international recognition. For contacts with the newsroom, send a message to newsroom at Traffic Radio at legostate.gov.ng. That ends the news broadcast compiled by Adesua Enjoyoka. I'm Taiwo Barua. Thank you for listening. Good afternoon.